Greetings of the day, dear friends and students. As in previous video, we have gone through all the details related to the fundamentals of the estimating and uh, we have discussed that. Uh, in this particular lecture, we are going to study about the uh, particular DSR, that is District Schedule Rates. Uh, just in previous lecture, we have uh, gone through the sequence of the execution and hope you have understood that uh, what are the different types of the item of work that we are expected to be uh, executed on the site and accordingly uh, we are going to use the DSR for preparation of the estimate or just understanding the brief description or the specification of any kind of the item how we are supposed to write down or how the proper specification should be there for any kind of the work and uh, for that particular concern as I already discussed that we are going to see uh, the DSR uh, Rather than DSR, nowadays it is being called as a ESSR, uh, means it is SSR is nothing but straight schedule of rates. Uh, since a couple of year back, uh, generally uh, the PWD region wise it was uh, publishing the schedule of rates. But before a couple of years back, uh, the government of Maharashtra has decided that uh, it should not be there and whatever may be the wor work or the rates of the item of work should be there that should be uh, unique rates for all over the state and that's why uh, since then this particular state schedule of rates is being published through state government of Maharashtra uh, public works department and uh, in this particular SSR we can see that the different civil engineering construction related all the item of work are being mentioned and all these particular uh, rates its specification, what should be the maximum rate, what should be the width material rate or what should be the labor rate. These are all the things are being mentioned. So if you just go on through uh, this particular content, you can understand that what exactly uh, the details are being incorporated in this. Uh, this DSR, District Schedule Rate, was being published by the Public Works Department. Uh, as I already told you that, that particular district schedule rate was being published by the concerned uh, regional uh, authority of the public works department. But uh, now, since a couple of years back, uh, the state um, schedule of rates is being published and it, it is being directly uh, used for all over the Maharashtra or all over the state, uh, which is published by the uh, state government of Maharashtra public works department again. Uh, in this, if you go on uh, just studying this particular uh, SSR, you will come to know that the different phenomenon of the different uh, technical things that we are required, that all the things are being mentioned uh, over here in the state schedule rates, wherein you can just uh, check out that the different materials, their rates, what are uh, expected, uh, maximum retail price, what should be there, that is being mentioned uh, for different materials. Uh, if we go on just... Uh, checking one by one, uh, we can see that uh, over here for every floor separate items rate of increase by 1% if you are uh, going for construction of the any kind of the work then such kind of the addition of the percentage of cost uh, could be possible uh, so accordingly this is being mentioned the all the details related to the construction uh, you can get it from this SSR one by one if you go on thoroughly uh, you can understand the exact uh, what the things are being given in this particular type of the work so just starting from this particular work road work uh, related to the road work some of the items are being mentioned just coming to the direct uh, point uh, we will ju just check out the building related things where it is being mentioned okay so from that you will be a better understanding what exactly the things are being there coming to the Okay, so you can see that from page number 197, the building works is being started over here for 1920. As this particular SSR is for 1920, uh, every year these state schedule rates are being published through PWD. So you can have a separate SSR for every year. So uh, according to, as I already told you that here will be the different item of work, uh, which is expected to be uh, supposed to be checked, in which the SSR item number will be given here. For your reference, you can take it from here. As uh, again, reference number is being mentioned for 
uh, any kind of the work that is BDA1 uh, is the reference number of this particular item that is building we can say that building works uh, for this uh, item it is being given the reference number and if you go on detail you can see the each and everything as already told that in specification there should be all the things should be mentioned what should be its manpower what should be the quality of work what should be the material used and each and everything that is being expected is supposed to be mentioned over here as a specification okay so you can just have a look over here then if any additional things you are supposed to be go through the check you can just have a look on this particular item also what is the unit of measurement that is also being given for this item of work that is cubic meter what is the rates means uh, with material if all the things are supposed to be used by the uh, contractor itself then 157 rupees per cubic meter will be the rate and only labor by only providing the labor uh, that will be the 92 rupees per cubic meter so likewise uh, you can have the different item of works from this particular item and whenever uh, one more important thing that whenever you are preparing an estimate and you are taking the reference of these particular rates and particular description you are supposed to take the serial number the SSR number and the page number of this SSR and you are supposed to again mention that the this SSR 1920 building works from this particular item you are referring the this item of work and this particular rates so that whenever if any of the person is using this particular uh, your estimate or referring your estimate uh, he could be directly refer to that particular uh, we can say that so he can directly refer to your particularly uh, what SSR you have used and what will be the specifications uh, that you have referred that he can be understood from that particular thing so you just be careful about preparing the estimate uh, while providing an estimate you can just uh, go through this particular uh, SSR that is straight schedule of rates and uh, hope you have understood how the specifications uh, unit of measurements rates are being given in SSR and how that is supposed to be used in again while going for a detail estimate in detail we are going to understand or study these are all the things uh, that we are supposed to be uh, study from SSR. This was an only brief or uh, we can say that the short explanation about the SSR. I uh, hope you have understood uh, this as what is exactly SSR, who particular, which department is being published this particular SSR. Uh, so, okay, uh, in this particular lecture, we are stopping over here. Be safe, be at home and keep learning. Thank you. Thank you very much.